Welcome to Amish Math School. In this video, we are going to discuss about how do you find the angle between hour hand and the minute hand of an analog clock at a given time. That is the clock angle problem. The angle between the hour hand and the minute hand at 3 o'clock. This one is analog clock. This one is the hour hand. This one is the minute hand. So at 3 o'clock, the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand is 90 degrees. So this one is the angle between minute hand and the hour hand. Or we can say the hour hand and the minute hand. If we count it clockwise, that is minute hand and the hour hand. If we count it anti-clockwise, that is hour hand and the minute hand. Here, there is another angle is formed. What is the measure of that angle? The angle between the hour hand and the minute hand is 360 degree minus 90 degree, which is 270 degree. That is this part. Total angle is 360 degree. If this one is 90 degree, so the rest part is 360 minus 90, which is 270. So in this case, two angle is formed. One is this one, another one is this one. If we say this one is the angle between minute and hour, then the rest one is the angle between hour and minute. So let's see the one hour movement of the hour hand and the minute hand. So if we want to calculate this, angle between the minute hand and hour hand. So we have to consider the minute hand movement, the hour hand movement, and finally the relation between the movement of hour hand and the minute hand. When the minute hand move, with this the hour hand is also move. Now a clock is a circle and a circle always contains 360 degrees. Since there are 60 minutes on a clock, each minute mark is 360 divided by 60 equal to 6 degree. So each minute is equal to 6 degree. Each minute movement for any hour hand or the minute hand is 6 degree angular movement of that hand. The minute hand or hour hand move from one this place to this place. That is one minute. In that case, the angular movement at center is 6 degree. So let's see the minute movement. That is one minute, two minute, three minute, four minute, and five minutes. For each minute, the angular movement at center for the hand is 60. The full 60 minute movement of minute hand is 360. In this period, the hour hand moves five each step forward. That is five times six, which is 30 degrees. That is when the minute hand moves the full 60 degree. In that case, the hour hand moves just one hour. That is just five step ahead, 30 degrees. You just see here, 360 degree movement of minute hand is equal to just 30 degree movement of hour hand. So, we can say 360 degree movement of minute hand is equal to 30 degree movement of hour hand. This relation is very much important when we want to find the angle between the hour hand or minute hand or minute hand and hour hand. The 6 degree movement of minute hand, this one, which cause a little movement of hour hand. For each 6 degree or 1 minute, the hour hand moves just half degree ahead. That is when the minute hand moves one step, that is 6 degree, in that period, the hour hand moves half degree ahead. So, for each 6 degree movement of minute hand, the hour hand moves half degree. So, these are the basic knowledge we need to find the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand of an analog clock at any given time. Let's see the steps to find the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand or mi hour hand and the minute hand. Step number one, place the hands according to the time. That is here, you see, this one is at three o'clock. At three o'clock, the hour hand is at three and the minute hand is at twelve. So place the hand according to time. This one is the step number one. Then number two, calculate the steps, that is minutes between the hands and find the angle. Here you see between this minute hand and the hour hand, here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there is a 15 steps. There is 15 minutes between these two. Step 2 is to calculate these steps. Here are the 15 steps and find the angle. That is, each step is 6 degrees. So the total angle is 6 times 50, which is 90 degrees. Step 3, count the position of minute hand from 12. That is here. This at 3, this one is at 12. So there is no movement of this minute hand from 12 in this case. Step 4, find the hour hand movement for 
step 3. That is when this minute hand moves from this 12, the hour hand is also moved forward. So find the hour hand movement for this minute hand movement. This one is step 4. Then step 5, add or subtract the value of step 4 with step 2. That is here, we just find our actual angle. That is the original angle between this minute hand and the hour hand. For the minute hand movement from 12, the hour hand is also moved. We just find this one in step 4. And the value of step 4, we have to add or subtract from this original value. If our hand goes far from this minute hand, in that case, we have to add. And if this hour hand goes closer to the minute hand, in that case, we have to subtract. So these are the five steps to find the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand. Let's see some examples to finding the angles. The first one, that is find the angle between hour hand and the minute hand at 3.05 o'clock. At 3.05 o'clock, the minute hand is at 1 and the hour hand is at 3. So this one is our step 1. That is the place, the minute hand, and the hour hand according to the time. Now step 2. Now the steps, that is minutes, between hand is 10. Here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And we know each step is 6 degrees. So the angle between these two is 10 times 6, which is 60 degrees. So from here, for step 2, we got the angle that is 60 degrees. Step 3. The minute hand movement from 12 is here, that is from 12, the minute hand moves 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 steps. So, each step is 6 degrees, so the minute hand movement from 12 is 5 times 6, which is 30 degrees. Now, step 4, that is for each 6 degree or 1 minute movement, the hour hand moves half degree. For each step, the hour hand moves half degree, so here, total 5 steps. So 5 times half, that is 2.5 degree. For this minute hand movement from 12, the hour hand moves 2.5 degree forward. So from this 12 to 1, the minute hand moves 5 step forward. So our hand will move 5 times half degree, that is 2.5 degree forward. Step 5, that is here, the hour hand go far from this minute hand. That's why the angle will be increased. So the angle is, original angle is 60 degree plus the hour hand movement is 2.5. For this minute hand movement, the hour hand is moved 2.5 degree forward. So the angle is, will be increased. That's why the original angle will be 60 plus 2.5 degree, which is equal to 62.5. Angle between minute hand and hour hand is 62.5. There is another angle from here, that is the outer side, this one. So that angle is 360 minus 62.5, which is 297.5 degree. So this one is another angle. So the result is either 62.5 degree or 297.5. In this way, according to the steps, we can easily find the angle between minute hand and hour hand at any given time of an analog clock. Now, let's solve this problem using the formula. That is, find the angle between minute hand and hour hand at 3 or 5 o'clock. So, let's see the movement 3 or 5. So, the formula is 11m minus 68 divided by 2. This is the absolute value of this one. Here, m represents the minute and h represents the hour. So at 3.05, the minute is 0.5 and the hour is 3. So if we substitute the value of m, which is 5, and the value of a, which is 3, in this formula, we have 11 times 5 minus 60 times 3 divided by 2, which is equal to 55 minus 180 divided by 2, which is equal to 62.5. So using formula, we can easily find the value that is the angle between the hour hand or minute hand or minute hand or hour hand. So this one is the formula 11m, that is 11 times minute minus 60 times hour divided by 2. The value will be absolute value. Just substitute the value of hour and minute in this formula. We can easily find the value that is 62.5 degree. If we subtract this value from 360 degree, in that case, we will get the value of the other angle. That is, other than this one, that this outer angle. In that case, we will get 297.5. Let's see another example. Find the angle between minute hand and hour hand at 9.15 o'clock. 
So step one, that is at nine, one five o'clock, the minute hand is at three and the hour hand is at nine. So place the minute hand and the hour hand according to the time. This one is the step number one. Now step two, count the steps, that is count the minutes between this hour hand and the minute hand. Now the steps, that is minutes between hands is 30. The angle between the hand is 30 times each step is 6 degrees, so 30 times 6, which is 180 degrees. Step number 3. In this step, we count the minute hand movement from this 12. At 915, the minute hand is here. So, the minute hand movement from 12 is 15 step forward. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In this way, that is 15 steps. So, the minute hand move from 12 is 15 times 6, which is equal to 90 degrees. Or, you can say 15 steps. Then, step 4, that is, for each 6 degree or 1 minute, the hour hand moves half degree forward. In this case, the hour hand movement is 15 step, for 15 step, 15 times half degree, which is 7.5 degree forward. So, in this case, for the minute hand movement from 12 to this 3, that is the 15 step forward, the hour hand will 7.5 degree forward. The step 5. So, the angle, original angle is 180 degree. And when this hour hand is moved forward, in that case, the angle will be increased. The increase angle is 7.5 degrees. So, the angle between minute hand and the hour hand will be 180 degree plus 7.5 degree, which is 187.5. So, this one is the angle between minute hand and hour hand. And the other angle, this one, if we want to find, that will be 360 minus 187.5 degree. So, this one will be 172.5 degree. So, in this way, using this 5 step, we can find any angle at any given time. Let's solve it using formula. Find the angle between minute hand and hour hand at 9, 1, 5. Using formula, if we want to find the angle between minute hand and hour hand at 9, 1, 5 o'clock, in that case, the formula will be 11m minus 68 divided by 2. The absolute value of this formula will give the angle between minute hand and hour hand at 9, 1, 5 o'clock. Here, the M is represent the minute, which is 15, and H is represent the hour, which is 9. If we substitute the value of M and H in this formula, we have 11 times 15 minus 60 times 9 divided by 2, which is 165 minus 540 divided by 2, which is 187.5. This one is the angle between minute hand and hour hand. If we want to find the other angle, in that case, we have to subtract this value from 360 degree. Now, let's see some special case. The angle between minute hand and hour hand is 0 degree at 12 o'clock. And the angle between the minute hand and the hour hand is 90 degree at 3 o'clock. The angle between the minute hand and the hour hand is 180 degree at 6 o'clock. The angle between the minute hand and the hour hand is 270 degree at 9 o'clock. 